I absolutely love being a priest. Sometimes it can get a bit busy, but I'm always busy with good things. It seems to me that it would be kind of boring for me just to tell you everything that I do. But then I guess I thought, you know, some people watch these reality TV shows where they just watch people's lives. So I thought maybe it'd be worth a try. So anyway, I thought I would just tell you about this last week. It's certainly been a very full week uh, with many good things going on. For instance, this last week I had a few graduation parties that I was invited to. I always enjoy them because it's a great chance to chat with folks and just hang out. And of course, there are good things to eat as well. I even got to eat some gelato and a root beer float at one and another place. So yeah, it was a good experience this last week. I also, of course, was involved with the parish mission novena. So I attended them, socialized afterwards and um, spent some time prepping for the big celebration and all those types of things. Over the weekend, I had the Pentecost Masses, or many of them anyway, and greatly enjoyed just celebrating our parish feast day. It was really a blast to be able to do this um, and celebrate the liturgies and then to have time afterwards to hang out and to, to just be at our, our Pentecost celebration. So great work, Knights of Columbus, you did an awesome job. They were so instrumental in the setup, serving the meal and even takedown. And great work to the Maddens. The Madden family, for the most part, planned the entire parish mission novena event and the celebration as well. It is so wonderful to have them here with us. Uh, they've been just really quite a, a blessing to us already. This past week, uh, I've also had the opportunity to actually work with the Maddens and to begin some of the planning and help them get an understanding of of the parish to know it in a deeper way and to introduce them to their mission here. So I've been so impressed so far with their wealth of experience and enthusiasm that they have. Uh, so these meetings, of course, have been inspiring and encouraging to me as we um, really begin this really great direction of our parish. And the Holy Spirit is such really such an amazing place, it's such a beautiful, I feel so blessed to be a part of it. And then I'm sure you do as well. This past week also saw a wedding and a baptism. I helped out with the wedding rehearsal and did the baptism after the Saturday evening mass. I love baptizing, especially little babies. Uh, and as an added bonus, I was able to go to the reception afterwards. So it's these types of things that just make my life so beautiful and, and so blessed. One of our priests, uh, Father Tukshur, uh, who served in the Diocese of Fargo, died. And his funeral was this last Monday, so I went to that funeral. And it's always neat to be with one's brother priests in such a way. He had served in the Balta area, which is in um, north central North Dakota. This is the same town my mom was born in. And so I was even able to um, see a cousin there and a few others that I knew from the area. On Tuesday, just yesterday, I spent much of the day at Elephant Park. Oh, the life of a priest. It is so rough got to spend the day at the park. Anyway, it was great to be with the Holy Spirit School uh, on their park day. A great day to hang out uh, with the little ones, doing things like catching caterpillars and, of course, playing kickball. But boy, I need to, I need to keep in better practice at kickball. My, my kickball skills were definitely rusty. Several other things that happened with the school this last week uh, included things like during May and October, we pray a decade of the rosary after lunch. So I led several of those days, um, praying a decade of the rosary with the children. I also joined them for lunch and had a school mass um, on Friday. In fact, this past Friday, we honored the first communicants and confirmandi from our school. And today was the last day of school. And so we had a signing of yearbooks that I participated in this afternoon, as well as a send-off Mass this morning. Actually, there was two Masses this morning. After that, I participated in another, um, the, another Mass, the Graduation Mass for Shanley. We hosted it this year at Holy Spirit. I was a bit nervous. They decided to use the organ, and the organ had all but died on the Pentecost Vigil this past Saturday, but it actually made it 
through the whole way and actually sounded pretty good. Um, it's a little finicky um, and probably needs to to be replaced. But anyway, um, the live stream uh, wasn't quite as successful, so good and bad. Anyway, that was that was this morning, and then we had a nice brunch to follow after the mass. And I even ate all of my vegetables. So tonight I will be heading off to the graduation itself for the Shanley seniors. So we're actually so proud of you, Shanley seniors, as well as really all of the, the seniors. Well, I will be amazed um, if you are not at least a little bit bored with uh, all this recounting of this past week for me. But it was a good week and a full week. And I certainly wish you the best as we enter into um, this kind of longer weekend and really getting very close to just entering into the summer. Many blessings.